Shalom, Shalom. It's the brother Yahweh Shapak coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you brothers that are on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so now, so more than ever to you, I say Shalom. And uh I just saw a brother's uh, video, you know, on uh, the whole Adam Abbott situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, him being arrested uh, basically for handling that situation very poorly from a spiritual standpoint. You know, when you uh, when the cops roll up on you, when you teaching, man, if they tell you to disperse just disperse you know it's happened to me a few times you know what i'm saying and um you know when they walk up to you you really should just like okay pause the teaching ask them you know what is it because a lot of the times either they'll tell you well just go ahead keep on teaching man do what you do you know and and then sometimes it'll be like okay well i need you to move you know i've gotten complaints about you guys or whatever and then in that situation you just move, man. You know, you, you, hey, you get out of the, I get out, get the hell out of the way. It's, it's simple. You know, Yahweh Shah told us to agree with thine adversary while thou art in the way with him. You know, because you taking it further than it needs to be taken can end up in you being thrown in jail. You know, and I agree with the brother, I agree with all of the brothers who are in that spirit. You know what I'm saying? But the point of this lesson is, uh, you know, the brother was bringing out, you know, how, hey, basically, man, we in a lower state right now. You know, we catching hell. And it, it just kind of prompted me to do a lesson on it. Because we catching hell every day, man. We catch different hell every time we grow in this truth. The Lord tries you with something new. You know, and um, see, I'm going to get this scripture because I'm catching a little bit of hell right now myself. But it's nothing I haven't been through before, man. There's nothing that I can't get through through the spirit and power. Yahweh by some Yahweh shot. You know, we catching hell because we deserve to catch hell. And we went off and, and, and the brother was going into how when you catch hell, you can't get emotional about it, man. You know, when, when 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 faced with any situation, your emotions should be put to the side immediately because your emotions can cause you to get into a very, very tight situation or situations, you know. And, hey, if you emotional about catching hell, you could end up falling out of the truth, you know. If you get offended at catching hell, then, hey, man, that means you're offended and you're out shot. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh Shai said, blessed is he who was not offended in me. You know, so you, you got to remember the hell that we catching. Um, each brother's hell is tailor-made for him. You know, and each brother's hell that he's catching is is is, is, is well-deserved. We went off. You know? And, um, hey, you know, the Lord requires us to bear his indignation for the time being. So with no further ado, let me get these scriptures, man. This is Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. You know, there's certain ways to conduct yourself when you catch in hell. And being emotional about it is not one of those ways, man. You know, this is Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. So you're supposed to know this is what comes with serving the Most High. In, 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 uh, for lack of better words Prepare not so for temptations Meaning prepare to catch hell Prepare to go through things That are going to try your faith You know And that's basically what the brother was saying That everything we go through is a test And you know what I'm saying You can either pass or fail that test From Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah Depending on how you conduct yourself You know and we and this is is, is Ecclesiastes the second chapter is a very very beautiful line up line out 
of how we're supposed to conduct ourselves when we going through certain things, man, being in this truth, catching hell. So I'm going to keep reading. It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. So when you start catching hell, man, you might lose your crib, you might lose your job, you might lose your car, you might lose your woman. She might take the kids away from you for a little while. Understanding it's all a test from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to see how you're going to react when you have a, a, a certain amount of pressure applied in whatever area in your life the Lord decides to apply that pressure in, man. You know? How you uh, uh, act or react to things in this truth can either make you or break you. So... I'm going to read verse 5. You know, like, like it's all about being patient because we're going to catch hell till Yahweh shall come, come back and redeem us, man. You know, ain't no man going to save us, man. The Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is going to gather the people together. He's going to set everything in order. He's going to wipe away the tears from our eyes. He's going to, uh, you know, make obsolete this pain and this hell that we catch. And the Lord is going to turn the uh, things right side up man but we have to be patient it says because we in a lower state you even if you doing a little good financially one week you doing a little good financially one month whatever you still in a lower state you still an israelite in babylon catching hell man so you can never think yourself to be a somebody when you're really a nobody you know you how about some y'all shot did refer to us as worms Man, a worm is a very, very low thing, man. As a matter of fact, I don't think a worm is a predator to anybody. A worm is just prey. So we got to remember who we are, man. We got to remember that, hey, we ain't no damn body, man. But if we be patient, the Lord is going to turn us into somebodies. We're going to be uh, the rulers of uh, over all planet Earth, man. Over all nations, Lord willing, we are of the elect. But this is, uh, I'm going to read on to verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way of right, and trust in him. So the Lord will put you through some shit, man, just to see if you actually believe in him. Because a friend cannot be known in prosperity, man. You know? But in adversity, you'll know a friend. And, and, and Yahweh Shah called us friends. So when we catch hell, you know, and, and, and we, we uh, push through that and we pass that test, that proves to the Lord that, hey, I done found him acceptable in this area, man. You know, um, you know, hey, he trusted in me. I put him through hell and he trusted in me even when he had nothing he trusted me when he has a little something he trusted me when he has a lot that's what the lord want to uh, uh see man because you can't be a fair weather friend of yahweh shah man you got to be a ride or die for yahweh shah it, 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 there is no in between you got to be ready every day to give your life up for the lord man you know but i'm gonna keep reading it says um yeah ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy, have patience, and go not aside lest ye fall. You know? So, hey, man, we catching hell because it's a part of the territory. Another reason we catching hell is because we flat out deserve it, man. It is what it is. This is Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. You got to remember, man, that we're bearing, we're bearing the indignation of the Lord. We have to take what comes upon us cheerfully because we're not being rewarded according to our iniquities and according to our sins. I know me, myself, I should be being... I, if, it, if it was uh, up to the Lord as far as like just counting everything that I've done. I, the hell I catch, man, I deserve it. I, and I'm going to shut the hell up, man, and take it on the chin because I deserve death. I don't even deserve to be in the truth, man. I don't even deserve this knowledge. 
but that's my own opinion what i do know is that the lord chose me for a reason and i'm gonna run with that you know because those are my thoughts but those aren't the thoughts of the heavenly father and that means hey hey my thoughts don't mean a goddamn thing man the lord what he he decides who gets justified and who doesn't get justified the lord decides you know who he will have mercy on man and who he won't you know but stick it to the point man we're catching hell we got a bear to bear something means to a hey, to bite down on it and to just deal with it because we got to bear the indignation of the lord because we sinned against him we went off man you know and bearing that indignation hey it's a good thing because you know, if you deal with it, then that means you're a son of Yahweh by some Yahweh. So that's nothing better. You know? It's nothing better, man. Hey, if you just deal with the chastisement, the Lord is going to deal with you as, as with a son. You know? And, and you got to love Yahweh by some Yahweh because we're not, we have not been rewarded according to our iniquities, man. We would all be put to death. The, the 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 point of the, of the Lord having a remedy is that the fact that he had he chose to have mercy on the remnant or we would have been like unto Sodom and like unto Gomorrah. See, if the Lord didn't have no mercy, we would have all just been put to death, because we according to the law we deserve death. But that's the Lord having mercy was Him sending Yahweh shot down here, man, to perish for us. So that we might have everlasting life through his son, Yahweh Shah, man. You know? That's a the Yahweh Shah is a big part of the Lord's mercy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we just gotta realize that, hey, even Yahweh Shah paid for his sins, man. And, he, and ours too. So it ain't nothing for us to take a little ass whooping. The little ass whoopings that we get, man. What we gonna get. Which Lord willing we endure and we uh, receive the kingdom, we're part of the elect. We don't even deserve that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but the Lord's gonna have mercy and he's hey, what he decides to happen is gonna happen, man. What he say goes, man. His word is law. So, you know, hey man. Basically, man, we getting a deal. We getting a lot. For having to suffer a little if we can just endure through that man this is hebrews 12 and 5 and ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my son despise not the chastening of the lord nor faint when thou art rebuked of him so when you start catching hell man you got to check yourself examine thyself whether thou be in the truth or not man R roughly paraphrasing that scripture when you start catching hell, examine what you need to do better. What are you doing wrong? Because you getting rebuked of the Lord, man, when you catch hell. But when you getting rebuked, you ain't supposed to faint. Like the scriptures say, if thou faint in the day of adversity, then thy strength is small. You gonna always have trouble in adversity in this truth because the Lord set it up that way. It comes with the territory. And, and another thing is it, just, man, the Lord is building us up, man. He's getting all them impurities out of us. He ain't dealing with weak-ass men. The Lord is building super soldiers, man. You know, it says, For when, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So if you catch in hell, that means you love the, the Most High. You know, people in the world see you catch in hell, and they feel like, well, what is he doing wrong? Nothing. Ain't nobody doing nothing wrong. I'm actually being showed love. You know, because to just not rebuke somebody and you know that they're doing wrong, that's a form of neglect. To just let your child run rugged and do whatever the hell he wants to do and not say nothing to him, that's a form of child neglect. So the Lord is neglecting you niggas that he ain't chastising, man. He's not dealing with y'all, and that's in the nurse verse. This is uh, verse 7, Hebrews 12 and 7. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. 
Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? So you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta think, man, like, hey, if you getting chastised, then the Lord loves you. He's dealing with you as with the son. If you're not catching no hell, the Lord don't love you, man. He letting you set yourself up for failure. You know? Yeah, man. The, the hell we catching, man, we deserve it, man. You know, we went off. We broke the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke that covenant that we have with the Lord. Ooh. Salakia. Um, our forefathers, man, broke that covenant. We are our forefathers coming back, so we paying for those iniquities, man. Baruch 3 and 8. You know? And, and like I said, it is we paying for our iniquities, and we catching hell because that is the... The, the way that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, show love. And it's simple as that, man. You know? Hey, I'm going to close out with that, man. You know, hey, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next one, I say Shalom.